evening folks welcome back to the channel here we are again it's track tuesday now as you all know if you watched my last video i did miss last week's session but i had a good reason pretty tired from work wise it was really really hot i was feeling a little bit dehydrated as well for some reason last week even though i was drinking lots of water i had a bit of a headache so i decided to uh not not do a track session a good um good bit of running last week though mileage was down a lot but it probably won't do me any harm now this is an important week now two weeks of decent training the half marathon is just under four weeks away but i'll guess that i've got about two and a half weeks of some decent training so tonight's session is three times six 200 recovery 400 200 recovery and uh six for two, 200 and then a 200 recovery straight through no extra uh, recovery in between sets so that would be interesting after 200 and then straight in a 200 recovery and then straight into a 600 so we'll see how that goes uh, I try and do my best I try not to push myself too much uh, got a bit of a busy day tomorrow at Epsom so I'm not going to get a chance for a recovery run uh, they've got their summer barbecue going on so I've got to help set all that up for the residents so I'll be busy doing that tomorrow morning and getting on with a bit of gardening over the other side of the building somewhere in the afternoon uh, get on with the session I'll let you know how it all goes weeks just under four weeks now to the big half really I've only got sort of two and a half three weeks of sort of decent half decent training if I can just to get sharpened up before the big half I really really like to get a sub 90 but whether that's uh, possible, I don't know. A bit of decent training, a couple of good park runs, get the confidence going again, and uh, fingers crossed, I'll be ready for it. Catch you all a little bit later, and I'll give you a quick track report. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Much needed, a warm, warm night, very mugging. Right, how did the session go? Pretty happy with it to be fair. Missed last week's track. It's never good when you uh, miss a week out. Just uh, takes the edge slightly off your session. You need to keep them consistent with these type of sessions. They do in a funny way get easier the more you do. They might feel harder, but they do get easier in a strange way. So I was pleased with tonight. I think I was sort of going around about uh, six minute miling roughly. I'd say, uh, I know I was doing that for my 400s, I was going through in about 90, uh, so I was pretty pleased about that, I think I just got under 90 uh, for the last uh, 400, not quite sure about the uh, the 600s, but I don't think there is too much difference in them, so all in all, a good session, uh, a good long warm up, usual warm down, so uh, yeah, happy with that, uh, no run tomorrow like I said, too busy got a lot going on tomorrow so uh won't even bother taking the kit with me uh i know there's just going to be too much to do uh and then uh thursday I like to get a session another session done so tonight was a uh, short reps so maybe thursday i'll do something longer like four or five minute uh efforts uh with a slightly longer recovery and uh sort of a bit of a tempo tempo session uh, so we'll see, how, see what happens, see how I feel Thursday and uh, we'll take it from there. So if, I'll see you all Thursday for a session. Catch you all later folks. Morning, oh it's Thursday morning. So here I am, local park, home of Greenwich Park Run, Avery Hill. Going to do a session this morning, hopefully. Now I've got here, after my warm up, I feel a little bit jaded for some reason. Half marathon less than four weeks now really almost three weeks really on sunday so really this morning i need to do a session uh, just to try and get used to that sort of a uh, half marathon pace so my idea this morning is to run uh four times five minutes so we'll see how we get on i'd like to run them at a good pace 630 640 pace but I don't think that's gonna happen if I run around here because of it's like slightly up and down I don't think I'm gonna be able to maintain the pace I was thinking about 
popping over the other side of this park there is a housing estate a brand new house very nice very posh houses but in a great big circle so basically they built the houses on this on this open field but left the center empty and i noticed it the other week when i was cutting through to the station and it looks quite flat but it's a private estate so i'm not quite sure if it's allowed but i could try and if I get told off, I'll just, just, just leave. I don't think, I think it's a right away, so I could give it a go. So, I think I might try it. If I never try it, I'm never gonna know. So let's head over there now. I'm gonna cut through. There's a tree line over there. Let's see how we get on. Right, I made it over here, so it's very, very quiet. Hardly any dog walkers. The one dog I can see is on a lead, which is a good sign just left Avery Hill Park and there are tons, it's like Dog City over there, there's so many dogs. See, I've got this lovely sort of road, circular route and I'm gonna, I'm gonna run the same way I'd run on the track to try and duplicate that. Obviously I think it's gonna be a lot further, but I'm gonna crack on now before it does get busy. Here we go then, four times, five minutes. Let's go, let's, let's see how we get on. Oh, first one done. I think 90 second recovery now. I think the pace, the pace on that one was about 648 average. First one, always the toughest one. Breathing started to settle a little bit the last minute. So now I've got my heart rate up. Here we go. Second one coming up pretty soon. That was better. All right, that was better that one. Around about 6.30 post. Number two coming up in about five seconds. Put on what one. See if I can match that. Same as the last one, hopefully. Oh, that felt hard. Oh, dear me. One more, one more. I'll be happy to get this one done. It was hard to get going this morning really hard but good thing about doing any morning session the half marathon kicks off at 8.30 so it's good to get acclimatised and running do a hard session early in the morning if I ever do a session here again I'll try the opposite direction though because as I'm going on the bends because they're a little bit sharper, I can feel just a slight little pull on the knee. I'm okay running straight as soon as I turn. So if I run the other way, next time it just takes a strain off the same knee. Hopefully. Here we go. 10 seconds. Oh, job done. I was pleased with that in the end. I think that one was definitely sub 6.30 minute miling for five minutes running on my fourth effort. So I'm pretty happy with this venue to be fair. There's a few people dotted about going to work, etc. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice to see as well. A natural soak away. So all these people have sort of got block paving, but they've all got drains. And I presume the drains run into the into this little dip here and then eventually finds its way into that natural soak away which is uh, the way they should build all houses, houses these days. <sighs> Create a natural wild, wildlife area instead of like a concrete jungle. And then when it rains, everything floods. Well, I've made it back over to Avery Hall Park now. This would have been absolutely perfect setting, but it's not flat. There's a lot of people walking with dogs. So it's not always that great when it's a lovely morning like it is today. During the winter time, it's a lot quieter when it's raining it's quieter so there are times and sometimes you want to have that gradients on your training there's not many flat courses out there is there i mean even brighton marathon's got some lumps in it so it's all good training but i'm doing a big half in three weeks like i was saying and uh, that's pretty flat i think there's a couple of little little ups and downs but nothing really it's uh, a pretty fast course a bit twisty turny 
and a few cobbles to run through in uh, near Wapping, I believe. Uh, apart from that, it's a pretty good course. Uh, so, yeah, so it was perfect over there. Uh, no one said a word to me. I got looked at a few strange, str I got a few strange looks, uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, it was pretty good, good training. Uh, so I'm taking a run now through the park and uh, I noticed they put some signs up over there and some new signs as well. It gives you an idea of the distance of each lap in, the, in here as well. Anyway, I'm gonna head back now, get some work done. Anyway, I'll catch you all later folks, take care.